how we design full limbs at Bloodline Tattoo. So I want to show you guys how we go about tattooing a full leg, full arm, for example. We like to do big pieces and we run them up the side from the hip all the way to the ankle and then again on the inside from the inner groin all the way to the ankle on the inside of the leg. We use Procreate to design all of our tattoos. So we take a photo of a client's leg and put multiple layers. We chop many pictures. Sometimes we use AI to create our pictures and layer them all together to create one piece. We like to make a big full piece and everything laps on top of each other. So there is no black shading to join everything up just on the simple side of things. We want a whole picture to cover the full entirety of the leg. So as you can see here, we've got the full piece now converted into one layer and we're gonna get ready to print this off for the customer. We like to design on top of the legs or arms or, or your backs, whatever body part, just so you can visualize what you're getting in for for your tattoo. It helps a lot to foresee what you're coming to get. Next step would be just to measure up the space required. So when we go to print it, we know exactly how big of a piece that we need to make and simply just print off the design that is required for the, for the tattoo. All right, so we'll be getting everything ready. So we print everything in A3 sizes. These are big pieces for the whole limb, obviously. So we print a couple of A3 pieces, layer them over the top of each other and cut them because we're gonna be putting the whole stencil on at once so you'll see as we go on here that this whole thing will cover the inside of the full leg and that's what we're looking at yeah the full leg on the inside has been completely full and we don't want to be having those unnecessary spaces for simple shading by putting one piece together with another and just simply shading in between to join everything up we want the whole tattoo to flow from top to bottom and as you can see on the outside, we're going to be joining into the existing work that we've done a couple of days prior to this. So four days consecutive to do the full leg, two days on the outside, two days on the inside, working from bottom to the top. And we're just applying the, the last section of the leg now, the bit that we've been looking at. So when you're doing this, it's quite a difficult thing. So if you can have a friend, an artist, an artist assistant, someone to give you a hand while placing this stencil on, it would be ideal because putting a big piece on like this, lining it up correctly and doing it all by yourself is quite a difficult task. Okay, so we're gonna remove the stencil now, all the design that has the stencil on it, and you will see how we join that to the existing work that is on the other side of the leg. And like I said, we like to leave the stencil on for the two days for the duration of the tattoo. So everything lines up, stays together we're not cutting and placing pieces on generally this is actually one piece that flows and we know that everything lines up properly here so putting the whole stencil on and leaving that on for the two sessions will make sure our tattoo stays straight and it's quite easy for the artist to follow when doing their tattoo and that's the stencil so that that will stay there for the two days that won't fall off we use good stencil glue that will stay strong and you won't have an issue with that stencil coming off at all that will stay there for the duration of the two days. So here's the outside part of the leg. This is what we did in the two sessions prior to putting on this stencil. And we're just simply joining up the tattoo. So we got the snake skeleton joining everything up and that's the leg with the stencil and two days of tattooing prior to that. That completes the full leg. We like to do this with arms as well. Tattoo from shoulder to wrist, making a full picture from top to bottom.